Okay, so I wanted to talk about the Tesla turbine, the turbines that we do have here, and some plans that I have. Um, I'm waiting to get a trailer to move all my stuff to the new shop. But for now, just to, to let everybody know what is going on. I decided to make a video for you patrons. I wanted to let everybody know about the staging of the turbines or compounding Tesla talks about. When you're dealing with these magnets you want to make sure that you don't smack them on metal. If you're really careful you won't end up with this little nick. I didn't know the nick was there because there's a coating around the magnet. It's a nickel coating and when I hit the magnet on the metal it made a chip, but I didn't know the chip was there because of the coating. At really high speeds, the little chipped piece of magnet flew off. Without that issue, this turbine would have kept running just fine under the temperatures that we had. What I'm going to do next with these two turbines, because here's a replica. So Tesla talks about staging the turbines or compounding the turbines but only for smaller turbines basically what i want to do is with these older turbines it, because they're both good i actually never tested this one because i had to move from the shop so that i was at before so when i get to the new shop we will be compounding these turbines just as tesla um, advises for smaller turbines. So basically what compounding is, is if you have two turbines and you put pressure in the inlet to run the rotor, as the rotor rotates it's going to produce back pressure at your periphery that's going to push in the opposite direction of your and that's really important because in order to slow the passage of fluid, you want that back pressure to not completely, but almost completely block the flow so that you don't have flow through the turbine. So I'm going to give an example here. If you put your, this, this is the inlet here, and as you apply steam, or gas pressure on the inlet the fluid will basically or the gas will basically pass straight through through the turbine and in order to prevent that fluid from going straight through Tesla talks about centrifugal head so the centrifugal head is produced the centrifugal head is a back pressure that goes the opposite way on the inlet. So the fluid is coming, or the gas is coming in here with pressure, and then there's an opposite pressure pushing back against the gas. But that opposite pressure doesn't happen until the rotor starts getting up to speed. And that's why the higher speeds are important, because you start to produce that back pressure that prevents the fluid, or the gas, from going straight through the turbine. Um, so we want to increase the centrifugal head. That's our goal. Um, so how do we increase the centrifugal head? We increase the RPM that the turbine runs at. And that produces more and more centrifugal head. Um, so yeah, let me, give, let me give an example of how when the turbine rotates, it produces that back pressure. So I just, I'm spinning up this I'm spinning up the turbine. It's going pretty fast now with this little pump here. And so the inlet is the inlet is over here and the exhaust is over here. Um, I've got the inlet there and the exhaust of this pump spinning the turbine right now. So just getting it up to speed so that I can show you the centrifugal head. So now that I've got it up to speed, you can see that it blows on the inlet and draws in on the exhaust. So just by this turbine rotating you get a 
kind of hard to see a blowing action or a back pressure so the faster this turbine goes the more back pressure you put on your inlet and that's of course important because it keeps the gas from going straight through the turbine so when I first turn this turbine on um, there's virtually no back pressure on the inlet and the gas goes straight through the turbine and then you see a high temperature uh, you're, you see a, just you see just as high of a temperature nearly as high of a temperature on your exhaust as the inlet but as the turbine gets going faster and the centrifugal head increases and opposes the flow you will see a lower and lower temperature on your exhaust which means you're extracting more and more heat heat energy also you'll see a pressure drop on the exhaust as the turbine speeds up and you'll see the pressure on the inlet actually increase as well so to put it simply in order to increase the centrifugal head even further number one number one is to number two increase diameter of the rotor if you don't increase the diameter you need to compound your turbine create more than one stage okay so increase your centrifugal head by increasing the speed increasing the diameter or compounding Tesla says with compounding you can increase the centrifugal head without increasing the diameter so he says larger turbines only need one stage because there's a lot more centrifugal head produced on a larger turbine so because we have a three inch turbine we won't be increasing the centrifugal we won't be increasing the diameter we will be increase we will be compounding so here's an example of or here's basically what I'm going to do to compare the single stage Tesla turbine to the dual stage Tesla turbine um, so the way that you compound your Tesla turbine is by here's your inlet um, is by taking the exhaust of your first turbine rotor here and then pumping that exhaust piping that exhaust into the inlet of your second turbine or your second stage you connect the exhaust here to the inlet of this turbine and then you've got your exhaust coming out the center of this turbine so the this will increase the centrifugal head because as your as this turbine rotates it will put back pressure here in this direction and as this ro turbine rotates it'll put or more back pressure here so you've got sum of both turbines back pressure so say you're getting one psi at 5000 rpm you would if you stage your turbines you would get roughly 2 psi at 5000 rpm so also the centrifugal head increases by the square of the revolutions here's an example of how you would stage your or how I'm going to stage these two turbines or compound them I'm going to connect the shafts magnetically as you can see and this the further distance these are apart the better the coupling or the closer these magnets are together the better the shafts couple but basically you want both shafts when you spin one turbine you want to spin the other turbine just as fast so here's the inlet of the first turbine it will spiral around it will spiral around from the inlet and it'll come out the exhaust here 
go into the inlet here, spiral her around again, and come out the exhaust here. And that will effectively increase our centrifugal head. So if you remember in the last testing that we did, we had a pressure and temperature differential and the pressure and temperature differential would change, the temper and pressure differential would increase when the turbine got up to speed. We should see an even greater pressure and an even greater temperature differential with two turbines compounded together. As for this turbine right here, it's one of my older turbines, um, it has some issues. <coughs> I don't know if it's worth fixing this one or not at this point because I like the single stage design. What I want to do is create a dedicated pump for the turbines, for testing the turbines, and not have the pump and the turbine on the same shaft. Um, it, it'll take me a while to fix this one, and there's... There's a lot wrong with this with this turbine right here. Um, I need to put new carbon fiber discs on there. The end plates are a little bit too thick for what I want them. And these rings that divide the first stage, or divide the pump from the turbine, have too much of a gap in between the turbine and the pump. So, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do, the first thing I do when I get to my new shop is design the, this, this turbine, take this exact design, change a couple of things so that it's completely made out of metal and there's no glued on parts. So there won't be, nothing will be glued on the production turbine. It's the production turbine. Um, and it will still be able to magnetically couple to stage your your turbines if you want. I'm going to increase the diameter to a 5 inch turbine for one model and probably sell the 3 inch turbines for the other model. Now the 3 inch turbines will need to be compounded but the 5 inch turbines won't probably won't need to be compounded. Um, compounded. But if they do, then you just buy two per turbines and compound them if you want to increase that efficiency just a little bit. So I'll be building a, a brand new metal turbine, nothing glued together, completely sealed with a generator for testing. And I also want to possibly fix up these two turbines right here um, for testing and compound them.